What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Yeah, so like triple chance style things. Wait, Jason says he has 250, didn't he win like 800? On that hand? Or 900k? And Webster only says it has 477. Looks like he's got more than that there. What yeah, are, well, how much are the yellows? You? Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> the yellows going are to Canada. I think are the one case. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm going to stop in Vegas and then up to Whistler. Mm -hmm. Malaysia is not really getting hit by the uh, coronavirus very hard yet, right? Um, yeah, not yet. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Across Jason and John both flipping trips. Yeah, I'm wondering if the, the chip stacks, uh, the numbers on the left there, Jeff, maybe including these little tokens. It's all very confusing. Yeah, try to get some clarification on that. I th it's because Sergey's hand. Sergey had like eight, seven hundred time when we came. I don't think we've seen him play a pot either. I just not really clear on that. Try to understand. Yeah, I think it's best if we uh, just I have all these snacks for now. Whilst we work this out, but mm -hmm. well, neither player likes to see that ace. Well, great card for John. I mean, he goes from really in bad shape to. In his head, like, wow, how could that possibly fall? Jason trying to think, what is, what's my opponent betting? Very tight. Yeah, Jason just happy to check it back. Uh, I, don't, I don't hate it, Jeff. He's uh, has been removed for a while. Webster with a nice hand in the hijack, thinking about either limping or raising, and he's gonna go ahead and pump it up. Not great timing. It's uh, the only one with more chips at the table is Sergey, who wakes up with the goods. Two aces. They're red. They're big, and they match. Just calls. Could be a function of some of these shorter stacks looking to induce a, a shove from from uh, this Wei Shang in this exact spot. He doesn't get it, which this is a pretty good hand to shove. Maybe meant to shove. A little bit unlucky for Lebedov. And he is going to have the best hand, but both players really connect with this board. Well, I'm sorry, Webster. It's more than the connect. That's a, it's a truck stick. Just absolute monster top two. Lei Shang Bricks does have a gut shot and two overs. Yeah, so it's not, you get lammers. Those blue chips are worth 100K, so you can put in all at a time or one at a time. So if you bust, you still for their 25K buy-in, you get 300 total K chips, which is three 100K chips. And Lebedov cutting out a raise. He played his King's Koi before. Wei Shang going to put it in, so we're going to get to see at least five with him being all in. But Webster now thinking, what am I getting raised with here? I, I block jacks and nines. I have top two. I lose to sixes. I lose to jacks and nines. I mean, would Lebedoff play queen 10 suited, queen 10 like this with the best draw? Um, interesting hand. And uh, Sergey gets raised back. I mean, just can't, Webster's definitely, I don't see any reason of folding. How Sergey plays though, would he do this with queens, kings, aces? Would he play it like this? Would he flat and then go crazy here. I think Webster is going to end up ripping it in. I don't think he can just call. Uh, 
the re event is a rebuy event. So if you get you lose your 300k, whether it's 100k at a time, and Lammers are the full three, you can rebuy up to, I believe, level 10. And we are... We might be there already, so... Oh. Oh. There it is, all in. And Sergey's got to get let go. Oh, oh wow. Mm. Maybe he thinks he's got queen 10. Mm. I, I just... This is a... Uh, 10. Drop, 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 drop. King Queen wins, but who wins the side pot? Why aren't you sharp pre? Wow, King Queen. Holy come on. Then we don't have to play the big pot. Ah, <laughs> come on. He was supposed to. I think he meant to shove pre. All in for all of it. Yes. Jack, Jack. Oh, shit. So Webster I'll, I'll needs to fade six a turn. six and ace, a ten for the side pot. Six is good. Six is his. That's a brick. Oh, actually, so an eight. An eight makes him a straight as well. Look at those outs. Sergey's got a lot of outs. Oh, yes, six. Wow. All right. Sorry, mate. Six. Such a sick hand. All right, we lose the player. on the street. No. Oh. It's true. You're in Sony. Paul did say it. I fixed it now. The aircon was shit as well, the aircon better now. Oh, the room? Yeah. Yeah, mine mine works too. I don't really know what I do. My very my sweet room, the temperature adjustment in the toilet one only. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Interesting, uh, Nicholas completing with a short stack. But he does do that. Seth, the same with Queen Six suited. Danny, a seven of clubs, and now. Oh, King Queen of Diamonds is going to do the same. John with a pretty braggy ace A off. Reason to believe there aren't that many strong hands out here. Check, check, check. Oh, there's no whole card, huh? Yeah, there is. There is? You got a box somewhere. Oh, your chips okay. are probably on the box. No, but he does check yeah, and we're going to gonna go five way to the first flop with our new cast on the feature table. King 9, 7, couple of diamonds, huge flop for Paul. Top pair and diamonds and of course Nicholas also finding a big flop with his set of nines. Right, let's check it around to Paul who surely going back this one. Pairs 50k, and very, again, very odd that Nicholas decided to check. Oh, he does have more than the graphics suggest, that would be why. I thought this pan was playing a little odd. So he has about 100k more than it suggests. Paul, of course, gonna call. Yeah, Nicholas is 128, not 28. Paul pairs up. Uh, pardon me, hits a diamond, needs to avoid a pair up on the end. He does just that. And Nicholas, first hand at the feature. Back off to the buying desk if he wishes to continue. Seth and Danny both complete. Pool, Queen, Jack of Diamonds in the cutoff. This is a very strong hand in this game. Oh. He completes. John will check his option with sevens. Taking us full way to the flop. And well, ace, nine, eight. Eventually rolls off. Action for sure. Seth with top two. Danny top and bottom. Okay. Paul with a gut shot straight draw and okay. that queen high flush draw. And they both check it on over to the man with the draw. Thirty the bet, of course, John. With a gut shot to the wheel. Can't get involved. Seth for decision. Check where he's now. Just cool. I'll allow Paul to continue bluffing. If he were to just cool, I'm sure. You get a dream scenario of Danny coming back over the top of him. Don't 
does indeed come out with the check raise. Not that's going to worry Paul too much with that combo draw. But it's Danny, the one who will now be in an interesting position, holding top and bottom on a jewelry board. to his left does have to worry about Paul makes the call now Paul trying to piece this together it's very hard for Paul Danny to have aces Seth can having opened it up with a limp 6-7 unlikely does decide just to continue with a little bit of caution with this big draw. Does have position, remember, in a three-way pot. Not a bad spot to be at all. King on the turn. Very good card for Seth to see. Concerned about Danny Cole calling, Paul raising and calling. That piece together. What two hands he can beat. That's the best course of action. If he gets this wrong, he's probably drawing dead. If he gets it right, probably only a small favourite. Owen. Does move in, and it's a pretty grim spot for Danny with Paul behind. I think he puts Paul on a pretty strong draw. Not really jammed the flop. Has to therefore give, I think, Seth credit for having the made hand. Summer Seth's bluff, perhaps. Hands like Jack Tenor clubs. Uh, picked up this extra equity and jammed. Certainly taking a long time. In my mind, the real decision comes behind Paul. And well, one size and Paul didn't want to see was the all in. Oh. 
That's called 478 to win 800. Not getting the price with this draw. What the fuck is that? Fast draw. <clears throat> no more fast draw. That is what Paul is worried about. That Danny had some of his outs. Danny had a weaker flush draw. It's fun. I, th I think it's fun in, in poker to talk to people because a lot of times you catch a poker news or uh, you know an update or you get a quick interview with someone. But you don't generally really get to sort of hear their story, how they got into it, um, sort of hard times, good times, interesting little side bits, how they even started, how their family reacts to poker. It's, it's right. interesting to sort of get. I, I imagine background. someone like Danny would be a very interesting one for those who want to. Uh, yeah get involved in those, I think that'd be a good place to start because he does have an interesting story. For sure. So as we say, risen up from a uh, grinder to super high roller. Yeah. Yep. It's interesting in short deck how, de so the dealer button's really the best position, but also you're going to see with the weakest hands a lot of times, they're sort of forced in in a way, a right. lot of times with limping, and then on the button they'll have a, a, a pretty weak hand. Look at this, two queen sixes, both turning trips. Danny's jack's got to feel pretty good here with a gut shot. Have a little stab at it. Some draws out there that you can get some cool. Yep. Let's be too worried about a queen here when everyone's checked through on the flop, but Fool does raise it up. And now this is a we weird spot for uh, Wei. All right, you've got the worst queen. <laughs> a bet and a raise in front of you. But everyone checked the flop. Yeah, uh, this is, he, I feel like he's been put in some very difficult situations. This is not what you like. Exactly. I mean, it could be. The thing is, if someone has a straight, you still have. You still have some outs potentially, but it could just be. Right, you could be toast. Yeah, it could be dead to queen nine or queen jack. Yeah, do those hands check though on the flop? This is the thing, right? Right. It's yeah, it's tricky. Kind of a tricky spot. We see, I've seen it a lot in this game. Obviously, uh, it's part of the game pre-flop, very trappy game. But also that spills over, it seems to me, on, on the flop. People play a little trappier than they do in regular hold'em. Yeah. Again, you, you're going to play a lot of flops multi-way, so you, you have to play a bit trappier. And not yeah, surprised to see him fold. <laughs> Paul shows the six. Queen of spit. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Shows. Danny Tang, the king jack off. So really, any ace is sort of a wheel. Like ace nine is like having ace five suited, I guess. In right, hold yeah. on, because it six seven eight. Yeah. You flop a straight, or it's uh, yeah, any interesting. Ace any straight, ace right? can make a straight with the two in your hand. Yeah, so that's that's a difference. Paul, betting out I mean, props top power on ace king seven, but it's way long behind him. With the superior kicker. Wow. Big card here. Both players improving significantly. And if you're Paul, you bet and get called. What's going through your mind is, although Wai Long is... It may actually, it's going to work in his favor because generally that dealer button is the weaker hand, so right. he could have an ace six, he could have an ace eight, he could also have king x and, and stick on. Back up. Right, and we expect him to to raise up with the strongest of aces as well, right? So right, he so he's actually like really really sort of at his top, come, top of his come. range. No. Nope. <laughs> I'll stop. Oh. Yeah. Recognize the blue shirt of Nikita, looks like. I play tomorrow with interest. <laughs> Oh, a bad card in that respect oh. for Paul. Right, yeah. ahead. Tony beating Ace Eight now. <laughs> I got run over. There you go. Free it's kind of a tricky one. Yeah, his hand's good enough to value, but it's sort of that takes away one of the options. 
Right, it's, what, what hand, it away, but, yeah, what hand can be up against now? He's fired twice. I felt like Ace it seems... Be, so I wanted you to fold your hand. Yeah, he does so check it. And 300k in the middle. Why long? Covers Paul. 300 out there. It's a precarious situation. Does he think Paul would bet Ace Queen or Ace King on this river? Probably. Right. Like, you beat Ace 10, you beat Ace 9, you beat Ace 8. He bet twice. King Queen. Would King Queen bet again? Would King Queen bet the flop and then fire again into the Ace? I don't know. So it's kind of. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those spots oh, where you so you're almost certainly got the best hand. You've got a value bet, but there aren't a lot of hands that can call you. Right. Nice size, though. Ninety k keeps it small. It's a three hundred. And he's got Paul scratching his head. I mean, he doesn't doesn't have many bluffs, does he? So, betting small seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. Thank you very much. He's trying to Appreciate piece together what bluffs there could be. Not many. It does it have a jack of spade? Calls. Oh. Yeah. Jop. Guess the bad news. <laughs> I mean, going pound for pound each event. 70? Yeah, I mean, you and I were both in London during the Triton in August, and there were, there were some whispers moving around about the sort of pot sizes going off in the, yep. in the cash games, and it was pretty eye watering, to be honest. Makita from plus two popping it up. Aaron, that's nines in the hijack. <coughs> yeah, it's a play. Um, again, not not super familiar with uh, all the in the nuances of this game, but I, I don't know. Flat. It seems like the pairs. Um, I guess that's probably in the cut. I mean, nines is an okay pair. Right. It's not. We're not like ecstatic about it. Oh, ah. window. Although, Hello. what a wet board this what is behind. Oh, flop. Oh, my goodness. Makita with the open ended wow. straight flush draw. Aaron with the set. It is a flip. I'll tell you what. When but you I'm see it. I'm kind of surprised it's, it's, it's not even a, more in Makita's way, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because the full house doesn't matter. I mean, he's still got the. I guess well, full house would be the straight. Right. I mean. Man, a nine in the door card. This is like if you could. This is literally the worst yeah. possible cards behind. I guess maybe ten jack of spades. But at the same time, if you're Aaron, you, you got a set. If your opponent has a straight, it's pretty much a flip in this game as well. So just decides to bet it out. Can certainly get some action from some weaker hands. And when he has the jack of spades here, he's probably thinking, "What is my opponent flatting and now leading on this kind of board?" You know. Does right. he have, what hands is he flatting? Right. Pens, it's like ace king suited queens. to you. Ace king of spades isn't what you're worried about, right? Yeah. Really? I mean. <coughs> I mean, the ace of spades, like a hand like ace queen off oh. with the ace of spades. Right. Wow. But they're pretty few and far between. Yeah. Makita does rip it in. Wow. And I know Jeff, it just feels like bottom set. You just got to shrug and call it off. He's not doing this with a flush, right? Let me cover you. Yeah. Seems like a straight's the most likely value hand. And as I say, a set against a straight in this game is pretty close to a flip. So only 467k back as well. But yeah, Jeff, it's interesting you're saying, obviously, the, the P or Pre. I'm, I'm with it because, you know, nines is a very low pair in this game. And, and you flip a set, it's... Not necessarily gonna uh, gonna win as often as you would in in regular hold'em. You know, set's not as strong. And obviously, this ball will be scary in regular hold'em as well as short day. But yeah, you know, even on some broken boards, set of nines doesn't hold often too often with all the straight draws out there. In this yeah, game. I mean, I'm I'm in that camp with you. It's it's one of those things. You're mm. flatting nines and you flop a set. I don't know. Like it's there's it's gonna be hard for me to fold. But it's you don't love it. Like what is he really shoving here? Could be tens or queens. It could be. Jack, <coughs> you know, yeah, what well, Jack Queen? Yeah. Exactly this type of hand. Like you're really trying to find like good, really good scenarios. Is he? I don't think he's got ten. So does he raise ten? Uh, I mean, just from watching these guys play, they all play pretty coy pre with those pairs. I, right. I, I mean, oh, he's, he's just King Jack. I mean, King Jack, you're flipping against. I don't think he shoves a flush. Queens, you got queens. Yeah, that's the Two one queens. hand I think you'd be worried about here. The spades. Yeah, all these kind of hands. Yeah, he does make the call. Cool 
Makita pulls the face. He knows. I think he's pretty sure he's up with <coughs> him. I think he's expecting to see tens. Sees nines. Same thing. Eleven outs. Couple of cards. Yeah, spade is uh, ends it right. Uh, straight still could be action. Wow. Oh. Quads. Straight flush. Come on. No, yeah. don't do it. Aaron, Aaron, was, yes. Aaron with the early <laughs> celebrate, but in this game, there's always something going on. Straight flush oh, draw wow. possible. Like he, he said, all right, queen, you know, 10, 9, whatever. Any of that, any of that, it's just going upstairs. Eight, 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 the flop here. Dimitri with the eight. Whoa. Quads. Easy game. Unfortunately, nobody has anything from his point of view. But you know what Ivan's got? He's got an idea in mind. Mm -hmm. Bet's 30. Backdoor straight and flush draws. Dimitri's made the super nuts a couple hands now in a row. And the jack or nine could cause some problems for for uh, Ivan. But at the same time, in a multi-way pot getting called, I don't think he's just, like, going to go right. insane. If I look quarter pot. Okay. Yeah. But. Wow. He just can't help himself. He no. just fires again. I mean, you know, we loved the bluff a minute ago. It's easy to say not loving it quite so much now when uh, we can see he's up against quads. But this one does feel a little different, Jeff. Eight, eight, eight board. Someone calls. There are not many cards they're going to fall to on the turn. Also, he limps. Wow, and he comes out with the raise. You know, I like this raise, actually, because a player like Ivan, who could maybe maneuver himself into some leveling, could right. say, you know, would he raise an eight? And if not, then, you yeah. know, maybe I could make it 450 here, and or I could just call and set up a play in the river. So, uh, he, you know, if he just calls, the alarm bells go off, maybe he just shuts it down, or maybe he has one more, like, small shell in the river or something, but he or one, you know, right. 200K if, shell. If, but if, if here, you could actually get Ivan to, like, blast right. it. And put you all Call, in. Calling, we can sometimes win some more chips. Yeah. Raising here, we can sometimes get them all. Yeah, he's also setting up essentially a pot size river shove if, if Ivan were to call here somehow. Or I think Ivan's now figuring, thinking, that's what he's thinking. Can I rep that? Can he credibly have an eight? And if he doesn't, maybe I, I, I could. And it might, you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean Ivan can go into the tank a bit more, I think. If you know if he's got a hand like queens or oh, wow. a king. Oh my goodness. Here we go, Jeff. You called it. Gives him a chance to, to go ballistic. <laughs> and the, the Dimitri's like, hang on a second. Do I have the eight? I'm just going to double check my cards here. I'm pretty sure I've got quads. What What's country back? is Dimitri from? What he is that flag? Have quads. That, is a, that is a flag that I'm not too familiar with. It must be somewhere near here. Well, like and Dimitri moves I don't in. know about that. I mean, I guess it's only a little more sweet figures. He right. has a king at that point or he's whatever. He's got a king or he's somehow got aces or s seems unlikely from the cutoff. But yeah. Tough, but he's just he's in there with the – he's got – he's hit some quads, the nuts, and getting paid. People playing back at him. Okay, a little of my detective work suggests it would be the flag of Dominica. Kind of surprising. Mm. Wouldn't have called that one. Yeah. Interesting. Four way to the flop here, Jeff, with some, some pretty weak holdings in there. So guy with bottom two. Sam middle pair. This is one of these uh, weird hands, isn't it, where so that guy's hand looks so much stronger than the rest, but the equities are pretty even. Yeah. But you imagine a bet here, he just gets it done. Turns out 21% into 100%. Nope. Nice. 
можно прийти забрать. Сэм... Сэм лимпин under the gun. Is, uh, does, has, looks like he has other intentions. Not gonna go away quite yet. Right, he's got those backdoor straight draws, which of course are huge in short deck. And you'll see he has the uh, front door trick draw, which should get himself in trouble. Wow, what a card. That was the action card. Sergey thinking about it. What to do. It's kind of interesting when you bet the flop and you have Sam has 9-10. The best draw is 9-10. Or I'm sorry, 10-jack. And you have a 10 in your hand, though. So you kind of start thinking, what, what hands is he leading out with? Right. We don't block diamonds, which is obviously nice. Right. But again, and how many people are really playing s s flush draws, so, you know, leading them and playing so hard with them? I mean, I guess some. Right, there's going to be some combo draws there. Yeah. Yeah, ten jack of diamonds or something or something. He, got, he limped under the, g or uh, it was a hijack limp. Yeah. Or under the gun limp originally, and then a hijack limp behind. Sam calls once again. Wow. 240,000 chip pot. Queen on the end. Jack 10 now has, of course, got there, but does block that. So a boat beats a straight. Or, yeah, but a boat does not beat a flush. No flush comes. So a boat still feeling pretty good. Definitely a likely hand his opponent could have, right? Ten jack. Yep. It's Sam has a ten. He called flop, called turn. Small price. So I think uh, it's going to go pretty big probably, yeah, right? Yeah, let's say it gets to go pretty big here. Yeah, 225. All those draws are missed. you got to... I mean, all the draws bar jack ten are missed. And you're going to have some of those. So it's credible you've got some bluffs. We can go a little larger. I think he's going to have to call. Yeah, he's got blocks ten jack. <coughs> And yeah, Sam are kind of the best hand to call with there. And if uh, you were watching last night, you'll notice a couple of uh, players missing from this line that we perhaps expected to see. Sam Greenwood had three million chips yep. uh, laid on. Sergei Ryac had bundles of chips as well. Uh, neither of them managed to navigate their way to the final table, such is the nature of this game. Um, it's hard, to, it's hard to. Uh, Keep hold of chips, right? It's it's a high variance game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, at, yeah, he had three million with thirteen left, and I'm here on. we see two people with two point six, two point four. Yeah. Ivan's got less than a million. Six seventy five. And Ivan gonna find a nice spot for a chance to double. Ooh. Yeah, great right situation for him. I've been having a pretty good start to this week. It's got the backdoor diamonds not covered. Actually, pause. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's. Yeah, we're done with we're that. We're struggling with this one. Yeah. Oh. All right. Switching the outs up. He's gone from looking for Jack, looking for a queen. Paul still would have. About two million. High. Jeff, I want to see uh, Ivan have a little deep yeah. run tonight, yes, today. Yeah. After that, yeah. yesterday, that second yeah. place. Yeah. Very, very close to winning the event. Yeah, he got in a nice smaller spot. of the buy-ins. Strange to say, with that being 25k <laughs> yeah. of the week, but it's nice to get warmed up. Although the the price will go up significantly. 50k's, 100k's, and then the 250 main. Imagine a lot of these guys are going to participate. Certainly, we know some will. But the 250 k I mean, that's going to, uh, that's a big one. Yeah, but I don't know if, Jeff, if you popped your head in the door on your way through here. I don't know if you saw the, obviously, the 50 k and then the Hold'em event would have just started. I didn't, yeah. I didn't get to see, is it pretty full? Is it already moving? Uh, I, I mean, I was only in there uh, before we came on air, so I didn't get to see, see them uh, start up. And the room is pretty empty, but such as the case of small foot events there's yeah. only sort of 15 20 people needed to get these things going so yeah they stroll in just on the dot it doesn't take too long to register that many people but that is today's event 50k and no limit hold them and i'm sure these guys will be moving from this event to that should they bust out and uh 
Jeff, if, uh, if it's anything to go by the last few days, if, if you have been watching, you'll know that we've covered the final table and then switched it up and covered the day one of, of the next event. So I imagine that pattern will continue yep. should this final table uh, not drag on too long. And one thing we know about short deck is it usually doesn't drag on too long. Oh, look at this. Building 300 into 425, which is Queen 10. A little out of line here, Jeff, against uh, one of the biggest decks. Yeah, it is. Ty's got a great draw, but kind of thinking too, what am I, what am I up against, and trying to think what he can do because if he isn't relying on just hitting his hand, is there other ways to win this hand? So he's going to call. Right. And, and it's hard to imagine him having some super strong hands here, right? Ace King, Aces, Kings, all would have raised pre on the button. Yeah, and. The thing is that Paul does have position, and uh, it's going to be interesting here what Paul does. It's hard to he probably can't. It's hard to think he has the best hand. No, there's no, there's no way he can think he's got and, the best uh, hand. Wow, well, so. looks like he's going to follow through. Most <coughs> if he does follow through, certainly it'll work. Right, I mean, like I say, he he can have aces and kings, probably ace king as well. He yeah. would limp those from from plus two, I would imagine, on a final table. Looks a limp jam those. Fly it. Goes for it. Five hundred, Jeff. And ballsy. Yeah. I mean, Ty might think, you know, I got a ten. I could have ten seven. Or I could have uh, any seven, of course. Sorry. I'm, uh, it's, it's early in the day, Jeff. I'm, uh, my short deck mind's not quite working. Of course, any seven would make the wheel. 710 would make the nuts. And, you know, that that may be what going through um, right. Ty's head. What seven do you have? Yeah, he can, he can rip it in here, and then Paul's in a horrible spot if he's got a set, right? Yeah. Ty gets to have all, a lot of sevens. I right. mean, well, I don't know if he would call the turn with a lot of sevens, but Ty's on the, the button, which... He has wow. moved all in. I was going to say he can have a, any seven wow. diamond draw, any seven heart draw. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's, really <laughs> it's really great bets. Great plays, both That's players. So far, yeah, right. no. Here we go. Front, okay. You take it, man. No, friendly I game. I take it. Like it is a you take. Yeah. All right. Some limps and a check from Wai Leong. As Jeff was pointing out, always the, the buttons just has so many bad hands compared to everyone else in this game. Ah, flop for Ivan. Whoa. Flopped it. Tiny top pair, tie second pair. Wow. <coughs> and 10 jack such a popular hand, Ivan's just hoping. All right, Danny now with trips. This is a fun spot for Ivan. She gets the bet bigger a couple of times, I guess. Goes 100 here and. <coughs> Ty is going to fold. Danny, of course, will call. Ivan limping from plus one. Really hard for him to have a flush, right? I mean, not least just because it's hard to make a flush death, but does he have like, doesn't have hands like six, seven of hearts, does he? You know, Danny's radar is going off here, thinking what hands he's limping, but just kind of thinking my, you know, I do have do have a pretty good calling hand here, and I block jack 10. Flush has never happened, except now. And Danny, I mean, just if you're Ivan, it's just as good as it gets. This is just such a, obviously, such a pretty hand, especially in this game. Right, and, and it looks kind of like Danny's got a king at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Danny's almost lucky that he has king jack or king ten rather than pretty much every other king he'd have here, which would be a house. 290. Wow. Are good. Flush is good for sure. What a hand. Love it. Oh. Easy game. Yeah. Yeah. Ivan rolling. I know you're a fool. 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 No, 
Who like, does yeah. make the call? Yeah. You know, the bad oh. news. <laughs> King Jack. King Jack. King. King. He's a move from here. Oh, guy, post out guy, walk up. King. These are the spots Jeff obviously uh, calling off on a final table, never ideal, okay. but way long with the chip, he's going to put a lot of pressure on Paul there, isn't he? So. Yeah. Understand the call. Oh, there it is in the window. Oh. Little sweat. Ace or ten for Wei Leong will still do it. Paul jumps into the lead. Just an S. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. <laughs> My comrade. I don't know. Call, Oh, back to 1.8. <laughs> Alright, so we see two nines go with the limp. <laughs> That's why the hands Jeff we were discussing yesterday, two nines obviously a far cry from two nines in regular hold'em. Yep. Aaron over calling the very playable Queen 10. The wheel spinning for Ty. Yeah, he's gonna go for it here. Pop up the A7, put pressure on Paul and Aaron. That's one of those hands, Jeff. If he gets a uh, limp jammed on holding A7, he can quite happily just let that one go. Yep. No damage done. And pull with two nines, it's just going to be hard to continue, right? For what is. 275. 10% of his remaining stack. Similar to holding, though, it is, I guess, pretty. It's kind of like, all right, I hit a nine or not, and. You know, maybe get a full double if you think that player has the problem is when players are messing around or whatnot, you're gonna right. get you know, it's not just like, oh, so simple that he has aces or kings or queens. You know, you, you yeah. know, Aaron now Yeah, I mean Aaron like a player behind like Queen Ten of Spades obviously gonna gonna come in and make this three way. Yeah. Oh there a it is. Door card. Wow, what oh a my flop. goodness. This is like the, the third flip. or fourth time we've seen a door card set that's like but this is the this is the spot right in in this game, it's basically a flip. You see the percentage of that flop straight against the set. Oh, and actually, Ty is. Oh no, he's got zero percent. But he, in his mind, he actually has a six or a ten. Right. So he's somehow open-ended with this. Yeah, he's got the hand, double. Which is gutter. actually a pretty good flop for his hand. Tech. I mean, I guess the ten though, you can't count as good. Like, I mean, he's he would be against the bigger straight in his mind most of the time. I think it looks like Paul's going to lead out here. <coughs> And I think that's reasonable uh, in a three-way pot. Jeff, uh, Aaron's going to have a piece of this quite often. Having taken it three-way pre-flop. So Aaron now with the nuts, thinking, is there merit to raise? Would that make sense, or did I just call? I mean, he's got the right, stone-cold nuts. Right, it's only 800k more when he raises, isn't it? I, don't, I think you can just jam here and know you're always getting the action. I can't imagine a, a hand bet, pull bet to 500 and fold to 800 more. Is there any 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 merit to ca to call in though to get maybe Ty to get involved? Or I guess Ty's, I mean, Ty's going to get. When Ty has exactly this hand, it seems like a gin scenario, right? You get Ty to call drawing dead. But. There's a flip. <coughs> Jeff, look at that. Forty-nine percent. Forty-nine percent. Yeah, literally the same hand versus Makita, where we saw actually oh, reversed. Oh, Aaron had the set yeah. against the draw, and he turned quads, as a matter of fact, to just end the hand. And this time, hey. there it is. Oh, pair it up straight away. Oh my and make quads. Oh. <laughs> Quad. Yeah. Unlucky Aaron. He made a full. Remember the Queen Ten in the in the open ended where it was on the flop all in and a call. Like I thought he had a pretty good spot to call. So he, you know, he's a thinking player. He's not just. He is not afraid, or he'll go for it, but also make folds. So. He's got an interesting b balance, I think, in his uh, in his game. Makes it even more difficult to play against. 
And these are really two strong hands in short deck. Ace King, of course, and 9-10 suited. On the button, 9-10 suited. This is a spot where we're going to see a raise and a call. Yeah, and interesting, Jeff, again, way long opting to raise from early position with his strong hands. And keep talking about the, the balance. So second time in all, but he's raised a strong hand from up front. Yeah, he's got the ace of hearts here. I mean, 9-10 gets a nice little nibble of this. He's going to go ahead and lead out. I think Jack-10, definitely one of the, the hands he could put his opponent on, just you know, in short deck when he calls. Jack-10 and ace-king ace seem to be the most uh, most frequented hands in this game. Well, Ty is certainly going like nowhere play. with second pair backdoor clubs and, of course, three to a straight in yeah. a game where there's no bricks. Three to a straight seems to be a pretty big hand. Yep, and these guys are the two chip leaders, so important pot. Jack uh, yeah, for that's position. A, that's a good point, Jeff. Whoever wins this one, 1.3 million in there. It's going to take the chip play. Wow, interesting turn. Dynamic. Both improve. I guess Wai Long here can do a little bit of both, Jeff. He gets value from hands like this pair and straight draws. And very hard to imagine he could ever get raised when you're holding the ace of hearts. He does elect to check. And Ty, Jeff, I imagine happy just to take a card here. Yeah, I think so. Although... Yeah. I mean, I guess the merit of betting would be you can make Wai Long fold a pair without a heart. There it mm. is. Nuts on the end. Okay. That surprised me. Well, I mean... Ty called a raise pre-flop. Does he have many offsuit combos? Probably not. And we hold the ace of hearts. So he, I, I can see he's just going to try and give him some room here to bluff. Like it's not like Ty can call too many bets here, I don't think. So what combos does he have a call? That, that, that makes, I guess from yeah that perspective, that makes sense. He doesn't have a flush, right? Right. Pro, so... And Wai Long still has plenty of one-pet hands, right? The other ace ex hands, like ace-king without the heart. <coughs> Yang. So I like this. Interesting, yeah. I think that makes more sense. It's just working out perfectly here. He gets tied to put in 425,000. Obviously, raise incoming. There is a straight flush. A couple. You are. Mm. 7 10 and the Queen 10 hearts, but yeah, it's expect we would have heard from those on the flop or at least the turn. Yeah. A little time card going in, Jeff. <laughs> Wai Long trying to piece together what his bluffs might be. He certainly may try and turn some of those other ace X's into bluffs. I'm surprised he goes so big, Jeff, because Ty's either saying he's got the nuts or he doesn't, so when you bluff, you're not going to go as big as it, I don't think. Yeah, leveling war though. Look at you know if he makes it 900, it just not that it's gonna matter. But Ty, maybe someone could read into that too. Say why would you do that? Why would? I mean, I suppose Ty can have Ace Queen with Queen of Hearts. Ace King with the King of Hearts. Still one. Got some more poker for you to watch. Yep. Let's see why long up over six million now. We don't care about the pain. Yeah, exactly. 40 80 Normally, now. I should be your best friend right now. Last time in the seat, he raised it up with this very same hand, Ace Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> best friend way. He's going to raise up once again. You also don't care. Don't care about the chip. The chip lead. How much? Why so much? Oh, increase already. See? 40 80. So many people behind. <laughs> 40, 40. 40, 40. See, I haven't get out of the way. Still first, second stack as we see the separation there, though. Wai Long now has a comfortable lead. Ties the closest one to him and has a real hand here. Kind of an 
uncomfortable spot, really, if you think about it, because, you know, you're calling now 325. you got a very vulnerable hand. It's a good hand, but you realize you're going to be losing those 325 a lot. And you do a position, though, which is nice. Tiny with a very playable queen 10 suited, but only one and a half million in chips. Has the button. Yeah, he's thinking too. What is why long is he is he raising? Right, we. What, what's he raising? Right, he's seen why long raised quite a few hands in the position as well. So tie flopping set. Danny with a pair and a gut shot. One in with top pair and the same gut shot. Always action in short deck. This is a big big collision here though. And why long with the blocker here? Yeah, backdoor diamonds. But it's not the it's not the greatest of flops, is it? When you've got one pair with the queen kicker and the jack ten on board, no. not really being any other one pair hands. Mm. See betting here, just saying, look, I'm happy to get in against Danny in his 1.2. Stops tie bluffing him. Yeah. <laughs> Ty obviously still behind two hands, king queen and aces. Checks the jack of clubs, I think. One of those, Jeff, you're just going to call here. A lot of playability down the streets. Yeah. I really feel like a raise achieves a lot, Jeff. With these jacks. Yeah, there's a chance that you're that Wai Long has uh, queens or kings too, and it's just is that's a, would be a good hand to be bluffing here and, and maybe concede through. Um, well, it looks like he's counting out. Oh, he's counting his chips at least. I mean, he's going for the raise. Well. Okay, just one of these spots, Jeff. I'm not too sure, and it feels to me like that hand with the jack clubs in hand, especially, plays better as a call, but. Let's go for the raise. And that should be the end of this. I mean, Wei Long actually doesn't have that bad a hand to take on this hand with. Seems that's 25% equity, the live gut shot, but go up against the maid straight. I'm in big trouble. Yeah, I think he's thinking though. If, if he did have Queen King, would he be raising him though? Queen King, probably not, right? But even a hand like, you know, Queen Jack of Clubs has a whole lot of equity. Yeah, King Jack of Clubs, Queen Jack of Clubs. That's crossing his mind here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Looks pretty committing though, Ty, right? Like he's bet 2.1. So we know he's not folding. Like, yeah, so that's one thing we know. <laughs> and Wai Long is in the tank. Right, I think Wai Long's thinking right. I don't think he does this with two pairs. So he's starting to piece together that maybe this is some of the sets, some of the time, but. Even I suspected he may just flat with the set jacks here. So maybe he's thinking, look, he's got combo draws or he's got king queen, and I've got a queen. Mm hmm. Yeah, this bet, he was achieving a couple things with betting, and I de definitely, you know, he was not expecting it raised here. Right, that's that's it. And. Um, yeah, the more I think about it, Jeff, it's, it's an interesting spot, yeah, because Ty doesn't raise two pair there, I don't think. I mean, listen, these short deck tournaments. I think I, I was talking to Makita yeah. before the tournament started, yeah. and he was saying the average is 1.6. Mm -hmm. With these structures, 1.6 buy-ins per person. That's, like, <laughs> what the math comes out to. So, you know, we've seen guys in Triton be in five, six, seven right. bullets. I mean, it's not crazy. Yeah, and, and I think we mentioned it in the 25Ks. You know, if you're hogging around bad, get out of the way early. Jason, yeah. maybe not getting the rub of it in the 25Ks, but the bigger buy-in stuff is still to come. 50K starts today, regular hold'em. Short deck tomorrow, then the 100Ks, and then, of course, the super high roller bowl on the weekend, that 250K. Yeah, it's a treat. It's kind of it's nice, man. I'm actually, I'm ready. 
ready to play some some online after this. You know, it's like you're dialed in, get to see the best players in the world playing, get to just watch, and then speaking you of online, get on the table. Jeff, of course, uh -huh. concerns about live poker around the world, but one thing you can be sure of: online poker will be booming, and Power Fest coming up. What? Starting just next week, 15th to 29th of March, $20 million guaranteed. I'm in there. It's Sunday. Actually, the schedule is <laughs> funny. The, the the time zones here, right, for how the, the online schedules work. So it's actually, you know, I could start late, start late yeah. and, like, get it get in at the very beginning of the day. Ship it. Oh, we got some <laughs> confrontation here. Yeah, we certainly do. Danny jamming the hijack. Pull with Ace Queen of Clubs on the button. Ty having a limped in from plus one. It feels like a spot Paul's going to yeah, go with. Yeah, I think right? he's got to go. I mean, the thing is, uh, he, he covers... He covers nicely, Danny. So even if he were to be wrong, I mean, or if he was behind or loses the hand, 2.5. Bye-bye, he says. Bye-bye. He knows he's good. He knows he's good. Gave him the bye-bye. Yeah. Ace queen, though. Oh, Ace yeah. Queen. Here we go, Jeff. Surely it beats king queen, though, right? I got <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't. It do I, I don't know, man. Honestly. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Royal draw. Royal draw. Clubs. King of clubs. Red nine. I get a red nine. Mean no club. Just no club. Okay, I don't mind. Anything but no club. Yeah, so okay? river, at least you can sweat. Yeah, I can sweat the river, you know. If, no it, club. if it's going to be a... Oh. Okay, it's a red six. Down the six now, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll let you hit King pair. No, how <laughs> king you don't win, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Ace of diamond now, maybe. Ace of diamond. Oh. Queen of diamonds. Oh. I lose. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was a tricky one. That was one where he like, had to double take it. <laughs> Danny <laughs> Tang. Danny F and Tang, man. I'll tell you what, if you want to see a funny... Have you seen this? The Raise Your Edge uh, spoof? Jeju not going on. There's uh, other, you know, various events and, and places that are being called called off or most likely will be called off so you know this is uh yeah, it's, it's, it's just making situation. it more even more so you guys are really want to perform and play everything they can here it's just daily changing isn't it jeff we hear different things every day for what's what's on and what isn't on it's hard to keep up but for now we've definitely got this event we definitely got this week and it's going to be a great week early on this is day three of our coverage our third final table and it's the last of the uh, the micro stakes, Jeff. No more of this 25k nonsense yeah. after today. Let's kick it up. Let's raise those blinds. Tie. Bets out. 125 on the ace. 10 6 flop. Pull with top two. All right. Wait, you're going for a raise. This is very dry board for uh, this game, isn't it? There's no flush draw. Really any straight draw. Yeah, so if kind of surprised a little bit. Do you have to see him raise up on such a broken board, or yeah, would you like it? Yeah, a bit. I think um, I, he yeah. doesn't have any bluffs, really, does he? Right, but that's what I'm, I guess. Was is he going to raise ace queen? I, yeah, I suppose you can have queen jack and seven eight, maybe. Uh, Probably not know. seven eight. I don't think we've seen. Right, we've seen it. He wouldn't. He wouldn't play though, because a cutoff. He wouldn't. It's like what hands is he coming in? And, and Ty is going to go ahead and make the call though. And hello. And that's a really bad carpet type because it does remove some of the hands he's worried about. Pool less likely to have tens, less likely to have ace ten. He also now could beats be a six. A six suited. That that might be crossing his mind. Although what only one combo of that left, right? Is there ever a scenario to check here now and kind of maybe a rep that you got counterfeited or that maybe you're even scared with? Yeah, look at this. Yeah. I like that. Although a you're lot. bluffing, you know, you raised up with your gut shot and you're not sure. Right. I, feel pretty good I really like this. Yeah, this is a, this is, this is going to be a well-executed hand. And Paul, the thing is, I think still, yeah, Ty's got a check. Still, yeah. still too concerned. Even like a nine or something would maybe feel better. Just like the Jack could have Ace, right, have, could have, have Ace Jack, queen. could have King Queen on the gut. So like this is, you know, if you're Paul, I think sizing wise, you want to go not too big here. I don't think you're going to get. You know, what you got to think like ace king, ace queen, most likely hands that Ty has. What do you think, like 500, 400? <coughs> yeah, it's weird. Again, it's just. Or do you polarize and just go big? I think you like, just go big, right? 1.1 million. There we go. It does go big. 1.1. Interesting. I just don't know if ace king can call or ace queen here. <coughs> I think 
once we raise flop, we've got to go big here because we do have. We've got to have some bluffs. Can you hear raise with a hammock. King jack, queen jack. Eight nine. And how fun is poker? These are these are these kind of decisions and in, in spots. It's just it's just fun. And the only thing he really blocks is what king jack of clubs. It's only uh, that's the only bluff he blocks with ace king. It's king jack of clubs. That's, that's it. What a tough spot. I generally don't know what to do here, Jeff. Just this is a perception of how often do you think Paul bluff raises the flop, and wow. he says quite Gets a lot. A call. Great hand from Paul. Really nicely played. I mean, I, the only I love the check on the turn. The the flop raise. I guess yeah. If he's going to be raising Jack Queen Queen King, he, those he's are definitely led this debate in the past. Oh yeah. Uh, Maybe we got to revisit third. it. Paul limps ace jack Ivan. Oh, just 1.9 minutes left. Because the trophies are nice, Paul but limps ace queen pardon me, sorry. When you, when you we talk about 25k buy-ins, 10k buy-ins, thousand, you know, parties got the uh, million, 1k. I mean, those are, it's they are they're they're uh, they're big deals. Like you know, it's kind of cool to get something. What about? Uh, Trophies versus rings versus bracelets versus belts. What's your what's your thing? You like I don't the mix think it matters. I think guy? it's I think it's cool. That trophy looks nicer at home, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. The mantle. What's left? Mm, interesting spot here. One purple. This hand is. Uh, this is one of. A, this is a kind of a um, interesting spot where Ivan's sort of bluffing, but he's got a nice hand. It'd be Great. interesting if Paul decided to go with it. I, I don't know if. I think Paul goes with this, right? And nice queens is too strong. I is. Ivan and Ivan, yeah. yeah, so this Doesn't is for value. It, he, he, he knows that it's not great news, but he's got a pretty strong hand. And as you say, his risk premium, the shortest stack, was low. <laughs> Seeing some immediate no's for the trophies yeah, in the chat. Some people are shutting it down. It's hard to change the status quo in life, Jeff. Ooh. Thing. Jack wow. 10 8. Ivan takes the lead, but not really. Outs. Paul, Paul is even laughing. It's hard to have 13. Look at this. I mean, he's got, oh, and the diamond. I even see the diamond. I saw a double gutted. He's got. Oh. Paul's thinking, come on, this is like. Or diamond. Still 13 outs. Yeah, I still see a flip going to the end. And Ivan Liao is watching intently here. Oh, diamond it is. Gets it. Is that a straight flush? No, uh, uh, not flush. almost. Ichi. Nearly a straight Very flush. Very nice play, Ivan. Pulls standard line. Very nice. <laughs> Ty is going to continue with a call. First hand of three-handed play. Already nearly a million chips in the pot. And what a flop it is for Ty. Flop in the joint. 10-8-7. On a board that he's not supposed to really have, having limp called from the cutoff. It's a fun disguised hand for him. And kind of like we saw earlier, we may see Wei Long have a go at this one, given that Ty doesn't hit her that often. Just try and knock him off. Queen hands King. that have equity, yeah, exactly. Jack Queen. These kind of hands that do have a lot of equity, don't they, Jeff, in short deck? But he checks back, Whoa. and what a turn card. Hearts for both players. Could he ever dis could he ever slip it twice here? Or I do you start just betting at this point? But again, I mean, he doesn't have many nines. He's limp called this race. I kind of like the idea of checking again. You know, at the same time, though, why Long so strong of reading hands and kind of may realize, like, when he when he checks back, what he checked back, kings or aces, so now his hand kind of looks like ace-king. He, he opens the door to invite some bluffs, and obviously in this particular case he happens to turn the flush draw, which doesn't get a ton of, you know, he, he realizes that's not a likely scenario to hit the heart, but he still, it's like too good to, he could be winning, and he's got that drawn to the stone-cold nuts. 
It's very, very interesting here. This could be uh, it's definitely some spicy. Ro oh, my wow. goodness. I mean, come flush on. Flush over flush. So that is as cold sick. as it gets in this game. Wow. I, I mean, it's actually crazy because if you're tie, you hit the run, the back door hearts, which is like going to be good always. But you just you had the stone cold nuts on the turn. You don't want it. The board but pairs, but so now you're... And the beauty now, you're thinking, is, you know, Ty's basically saying he's got a straight when he bets the turn. So now Wai Leong is always going to try and take this pot off you. When the board pairs up and it comes the hearts. I think I like a small bet here, like a block bet, but like a, a theoretical, like I've got a straight. I mean, so he Yeah, and that's what he's done. He's gone 900. What, into two point? And they get a little bit bigger than I thought he might, but obviously Wai Leong just... Thinking about Vegas and the Mirage. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> and, and Ty's just trying to rep a nine, isn't he? He's saying, look, I've still got my straight. I don't want to have to check all a big bet. It's he's forcing. In his mind, he's, he's trying to set Wei Lung up for the huge bluff. If you want to try and win this pot, you've got to shove it in and make me fold my straight. Both think they've got the crown jewels here. Only one does. So what, quad eights or seven nine of hearts? That's the only hands that Wei Lung loses to, correct? Yeah. It's seven. Well, yeah, you can't have seven nine of hearts as played, really, right? The jack nine suited, he's been kind of like a stretch. Yeah, but I found with you there. Does move it all in. Snap cool. What the fuck? Red plus. <laughs> Red plus against that plus. No, it's no, not it's straight. It's not. Flush. It's not straight flush. Pool uh, just misreading that one slightly. It's close. It looks like a straight flush. Yeah. It's a straight and a flush. But it's not flush against Jack flush. And well, oh, Jeff. she turned his hand over, or she mucked it. But at first, it looked like she turned the Ace King suited over. Like down, I think. You're, you're looking to make straights on what the board's always congested by the river. Ace, king, queen. Pull with top pair. Way long. The gut shot. I'm going to ask Jungle Man. <laughs> I think he would know. Bingo on the turn for a way long, having stabbed the flop. Makes Broadway. Goes into trap mode. Paul going to have to check back his ace, you would imagine. Yeah, Paul's not. He's not a four-liner. He's not going to... Oh, he does actually hit... The Really bad card for right. his hand. Right, now beats the hands like King, Queen, King, 10, Queen, 10. King, 10 a little less likely. Queen, 10 certainly possible. Oh. You have Jack? Oh, yeah. Paul. Ace, Queen, Ace, Queen. Paul. It's going to be hard to get away yeah. from this one. Unfortunately, the Bob Three. Barker deal price is right. And Bob Barker, all right. Got, got him. Got him on a little bit of a value bet there. Pull completing. So pardon me. Way long completing. Pull on the button with Jack 10. Says, let's see three. And there's a bottom two situation again. Yeah. Very vulnerable hand. But heads up, two pair flopping pretty good. And Wei Long having a stab. Surprising here yeah. again. This is similar where uh, maybe there's something about these sevens in these spots. Yeah. Ivan did the same bluff on the same, the same board. board right? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure this. Check this one out. You're gonna pump it into the solver, huh? Mm. Maybe just ask them and maybe catch him in the just hallway. <laughs> Try to get a, a quick question in. Paul, do you want to start betting now? Opponent checks to you, and he does check back, okay. Wow, makes the straight. I mean, this is just... That's why you bet the sevens, Jeff. Yeah, I see that now. Why does Paul check that one back on the turn? Me too. Feels like a very wet board. You've got to try and tack some hands. If you get check crazy, kind of just give up on it. Yeah, the thing is, you know, Jack-10, it's a... He, 
problem with playing it that way now is you you do open up the door here, but at the same time the board just so ugly. Like right, what can we beat? What do you do? What are you beating here? What bluff does he have? Uh, even the the missed diamonds have got something. You have to. What we're we looking at, like king, king six X. of diamonds. It's, well, I mean, I suppose king eight, king nine of diamonds. Um, yeah, real tough one. Let's see how we can call this. Oh, Ooh. he does cool. Yeah, I think that's it's a, a little thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, yeah, that seven's bet on the flop though. I just, I don't know. I'm just not sure about it. I just don't understand it. It's one, yeah. one, two. Right. Except reversed. Except the button gets all the power, and yeah. this hand. Uh, Way long limped the ace as flops top set on East Queen. It's going to check it over the pool. He's happy to check back second pair. Turn Jack. Obviously, every turn card uh, changes the board in this game. But pool doesn't improve on that one. Doesn't pick up any outs. And he's going to stick on here, drawing dead. So, actually, some troublesome cards a queen or an eight. That. Actually, not a bad one for him. I don't think he expects way long to bet too many Jack X on the turn. More likely to bet draws and, and better hands than a queen. So this may be a card that gets him in a little trouble. Yeah, you know, check, check, flop, and then bet turn. He might go big here, thinking maybe somehow he got caught with the Jack. Right. Get you know, that would be make sense to go sort of big. He does go pretty big. Eight fifty into pot, nine. Basically pot. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. Who well, does cool? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, right. Now we can understand that, but he doesn't think Wei Long has a jack. He was right. Right. But who says he's up against Aces Four and is now down to just 2.8 million. Just 28 antes. Things. And King 10, Ace Jack. Oh, and go. Paul's going to call. This is yeah. a way. He's got a path back here. He will call. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, still 55-45. Exactly. Oh, yeah. uh, king, king. King, king, king. He Ooh. says, Way long with a chance to win it here. 45% to be our champion. King, king, king. Who, well, obviously needs this for the double up. But it's only the first step on the road to winning this tournament. He's going to need more than just this one. But he has to win this one. Oh. King 8 9. Oh, flop. <laughs> Couple of diamonds. Pull with all those backdoor draws. Still 26%. And Ace, the only direct out. Seven on the turn. 6 10 or. Oh, yeah. Uh, six no good, of course. Way long having that one covered. Just the Ace or 10. We'll do it. For the Triton Man. Seven on the end. That's it. That is it. Why Good long? Game, he says. Evenly <laughs> 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 out straight over. Nice.